On today's What I Do, we're moving between five and 600 cars a month. It's a business with a conscience. Now John Elman is selling used cars the way God would want them to. When we make decisions, we will look at his right ways. Welcome to What I Do, the show that celebrates your workplace calling. John Elliman's not your ordinary salesman. He owns the largest used car dealership in the country and proves God and business go hand in hand. I am John Edelman, and this is what I do. We try to keep between 500 and 600 cars on display at all times, and we have probably between 150 to 250 cars that are not on display that are in rotation. It's a lot of cars coupled with a lot of faith at Cayuga's Haldeman Motors. Not even a question in my mind that God has called me to lead this company and that this is my ministry. Further proof are the sales. Selling five to 600 cars a month, John's secret to success is the Bible. The core values are based on biblical principles. Um, and I always use the scripture, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And when we make decisions, we will look at his right ways and make decisions based on how we're going to set up a system. What that means for John's employees is a rewarding workplace with no turnover. We've created a bonus structure that as the salesman does better, my mechanic does better. As my salesman does better, my cleanup staff do better. It's a principle that we created so that there would be unity so that there would be relationship. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, Nance. <laughs> and these are our wonderful drivers. <laughs> She's an amazing person. She, she makes sure everybody's working all the time. So I've been here for just over eight years, and I uh, really find it a fabulous place to work. Um, being a Christian, uh, I have an opportunity here because of the mission statement of this company is to make a difference in, in uh, people's lives. But John and his employees aren't the only winners in this business with God in the driver's seat. We're making a difference in the lives of customers is the mission statement. When we first started the business, we went to, for example, no haggle pricing. It's in our website is no haggle pricing. I lost a lot of customers at the beginning. But as customers began to realize that your yes is your yes, your no is your no, which is again a biblical principle, right? they started to trust that. We believe that that integrity has to come from management down. Right. We have to create the right principles. So for our sales staff, when they sell a vehicle to somebody, they have no gain by selling them one vehicle over the other vehicle. So their true interest will be to sell them the vehicle that's right for them. And now, 24 years after opening the doors to his dealership, John's getting ready to go bigger and triple in size. So what we've done over the years is we bought land five years, 10 years prior to the need in faith knowing that if we were operating in a right way according to God's principles, there would be the need for expansion. And with the target date 2009, it's good times for John who's a big fan of the company's CEO. Christ is the head of this company, the unseen partner at every transaction, the silent listener at every conversation, the final judge of all decisions. In his love, this company is kept. And to his glory, this company is dedicated. It has such a huge impact on me, knowing that he's there with us. And that is why I do what I do. Did you know buying a car is the second largest purchase in most people's lives, next to buying a house? It's also a stressful purchase for some, with all the bargaining and negotiating that goes on. So we want to know, do you prefer John's practice of no haggle pricing? Let us know by emailing what I do at crossroads.ca and then visit our website at crossroads.ca slash what I do for the results. John Elliman is definitely gearing up for busy 2009. His success is the result of strong leadership, his own and that of God's. Here's author and leadership expert John Maxwell with one more tip on being the boss. Thanks for watching What I Do. One of the most important leadership lessons I have ever experienced or learned is this, that the choices you make, make you. I have a wonderful friend, John Wooden, who was a great college basketball player for UCLA, and he was also a great coach. And Coach Wooden, who's now 97 years of age, has been a mentor of mine. And one day he said to me, John, 
there's a choice you have to make in everything you do. So keep in mind that in the end, the choice you make makes you. I found that to be very true. Several years ago, I wrote a book called Today Matters, which basically says the secret of your success is determined by your daily agenda. And your daily agenda, that success is determined by the choices that you and I make.